Hi everyone, it's Brennan here, design team member for Stamp Anything, and today I'm going to be using a lot of the stuff from the new Coco release. So Coco is one of my favorite movies. I watch this in Spanish class probably once a year, and today we are using the Go Poco Loco stamp set, which has a bunch of the characters. We have Coco, we have Hector, we have Ernesto de la Cruz, and finally Miguel. And we're going to probably be using Miguel, I think. Then I'm also going to be using the Skull and Marigold card mat die. This is a part of Dia de los Muertos, and I remember in the movie they had like these pieces of paper with this intricate die cutting in here just hanging from banners on the street just making the street super colorful and festive for the holiday so that's what this is reminding me of and that's what I think it is but my favorite character from Coco is Mama Imelda because her song La Llorona it's so amazing I love that part of the movie but she's not on here so we're going for our second favorite so I think we are going to do Miguel so I've decided to use Miguel here so I'm just going to peel him off the backing and place him probably right in the center so you're going to notice here that I am using my Sizzix stamp tool, but I'm using the stamp and spin lid. And that's because for me, the regular lid is kind of large, to be honest. So when I'm trying to use it, it hits my camera. But this, on the other hand, clears my camera just barely, but it clears it. And that's the important part. So now I can just flip this over. And I am going to actually go in here with my hand and take off any possible residue left from when the stamps were manufactured. It's not a guarantee that there'll be anything on there, but I personally think it just gets you a better stamping. So now I'm going to go in here and ink this up. And I'm going to stamp. So put that back in the hinges and bam. And I messed up on the eye there, so we're going to go in and do this one more time. And there we go. So we have our Miguel here. Now I'm going to take him off the platform so I can start coloring. So I'm going to start with Miguel's hoodie, and I'm going to be using R39, R37, and R35. I'm just outlining the hoodie here and that little indent part because that's a little fold in the hoodie, so it would be darker there. So I'm just doing that with the R39 going around. And also, if I sound weird or different in either the video or this voiceover part with the coloring, it's because I am very stuffed up and sick, so I apologize for that. Now I'm going to go over my R39 with my R37 to bring that color out and start to blend those. I think I go back in with the R37 later just to finish up my coloring, make it look a little nicer, but for right now we're just going over doing a little bit of blending and leaving a little bit of white room also for that R35 so we can have our light areas. For your mid-tone, for my case, which is this R37, I like to do the most with it because it's the middle, it's the most, and it's what like the true color of the object is. So now I'm going to go in with that R37 and just cover everything I've done so far. Just literally everything. Cover it all. I'm Oprah. Every part gets a color. You get some R35 and you get some R35. We all get R35. But yeah, that's literally what I'm doing, going over all of it. But you may think we're all done with our hoodie. No, no, no. I'm going back in with that R37 and I'm just going over the darker areas just to add a little more definition. And once again, that R35 is coming right back out because we need to add some more and blend in that R37 we just put on. Just trying to get as much color there because I wasn't liking how it was blending. Then on this side, I thought it needed a little more R39. So we did the R39 and just going out with R35. Um, on camera, it looked good basically the whole time, but in real life, I was like, Ugh. and now I'm just going to do the sleeves because I was kind of forgetting about those. So I'm going to go in with my R39 here and just go on the outside of the sleeves and then the bottom of the other sleeve, and then just that R37. And once again, lastly, our R35, because those sleeves need some R35 too. Yes, they do. Okay, time to move on to Miguel's jeans, and we're going to be using B97, B95, and B93. First, I'm going around the edge of the jeans on the top where it touches the guitar and then like the inside of the leg just for the shadows. And now I'm just bringing that color a little bit out with that mid-tone, that B95. And then once again, I'm just going over all of the jeans with that B93. And then I'm going to go in for a second time with that B95, I believe it is, just because I wasn't loving how it was blending. Um, I don't think it also, it looked bad on camera, but in person I was not liking it. So I just went back in with that B95 first, and then I did the B93. So now for his shoes, I'm just going to do a little C8 and then C7. Nothing crazy here, just a little bit of shade variation to add a tiny bit of depth there. Like I said, nothing crazy. 
Now, I think I'm going to do his guitar now. So I'm going to use E27, E25, and E23. So for that one section there, I'm going to do E27 just around one edge, just so we can create a little bit of shading. And if we did the darkness on both of those edges there, when it went up against the other edge, you wouldn't notice a difference. But since I'm only doing it on the outer edge and not the inner edge, you will notice that difference. So now I'm taking that E25 and bringing that color more towards the center. And yeah, that's basically all I'm doing. Leaving a little bit of white at the center for that E23. And I also decided to go up like the neck of the guitar just to add that color. And lastly, we're going with the E23 to finish off the guitar so there are no more white areas left. And yeah. Oh, I left the outer ring um, colorless just so I could go in with a yellow, which is Y19. And then I'm going to go in with that E27 once more for that center of the guitar because that's where it should be like darker since inside and shadowy. So I thought I was going to do W10 for his hair, but nope, my W10's dead. So we're going to do W9 for the darkest part of his hair around the hoodie, because the hoodie would be creating a shadow. And then we'll bring that out with Y8. I was like, hmm, can I just do it all Y8? And I was like, eh, that's a lot of area. So I am going to go in with my Y7 and just do that for like the edges of his hair, almost like little highlights. Yeah, basically little highlights. <laughs> that's what they are, to be honest. And his hair is now done. And now all that I have to do is Miguel's face. So I'm going to go in with C0 here and just outline his face. This will add a tad more depth. I still want it to be white, so that's why I'm not doing a ton. And then I'm going to go in with C4 for his nose, because that's darker. Then I added a little B something for his shirt. But yeah, there we go. So I have now used my Skulls and Marigold card mat die to cut out a die cut here. And I have it on a sticky mat. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my purple ink blending tool and just use, honestly, whatever residual ink is on here and just blend over this. I'm going to try to create a little bit of a gradient, but honestly, if I don't get one, I'm totally fine. Gradient achieved and card background colored. I know on camera it doesn't look like there's color down here, but in real life there's a very slight hint of purple, so that's probably why the camera's not picking it up. So now I'm just going to go in here with a little bit of glue on this card front, or card background, whatever you want to call it, and I'm then just going to glue this directly onto my card base. It's like the perfect size for an A2 card base, which is perfect. <laughs> I'm honestly kind of gluing this kind of randomly. It's okay. We're, it's okay. We will survive. As long as it stays stuck, we're good. And I think it will. In all honesty, Stevie Nicks is about to be on SNL. So I don't got a lot of time here. <laughs> so we're just going to glue this right on. Okay, and we're looking good. We're almost done here, and mainly what we have left to do is glue Miguel onto the card background, and well, the card base also. But I messed up with my coloring here, so I just want to go in with a white gel pen and cover up all my mistakes. It's not going to be perfect, especially because some of these areas, including this one right here, are fairly large, but it will help to hide my mistake. Let's face it, this is a handmade card, not a Hallmark card, not a Hallmark card, so it's not going to be perfect, and that is one 100% okay. And there we go. Most of our issues are gone. So I'm just going to glue him right on this side. And while obviously you would put a sentiment on most cards, I'm going to leave this blank because I don't know exactly what I would be using this card for yet. So just so I don't limit my opportunities with it, I'm actually just not going to put a sentiment on here. And I can stamp one on later, or I could technically leave it blank, but I don't think I would with this card. But I will tell you that when I do put a sentiment, it's going to go right here in the middle. And this is like the perfect spot for a sentiment on this card die, on this card front die, card back die, whatever you want to call it. But here is our finished card. Look at little Miguel here. He's just playing some tunes for us. He's playing Un Poco Loco. He's just going crazy. Maybe he's doing a duet with Mama Imelda for La Llorona. I don't know. Should I, should I sing La Llorona? Like, hold on. That would, that would get me fused because th that would be crazy. No, I'm joking. You don't want to hear me sing that. I no. <laughs> La Llorona. Okay, I'm stopping. But thank you all so much for watching, and I really hope you enjoyed this video. This is a really fun release, especially if you watch this movie a ton like I have. Bye everyone, and happy crafting, and sorry for not doing an official intro or outro. I'm rushing to see Stevie next. We gotta go see Stevie. <laughs> Bye everyone.